I'm here today with Jake and he's going to talk about portfolios and how we manage them here in our district. Well, we basically have three types and the first is a glue doc catch-all. And a catch-all is like where you put all your general information. And how do you get stuff that's not already, you know, typed out or digitized? What do you do? We usually uh, take a picture with our laptop cameras and then we'll put that in Google Doc. Like what? What's the examples of that? Uh, Mr. D's math work. Like if I was to have a math paper, my teacher wanted me to turn it into a Google Docs, I'd take a picture of it with my camera and then it'd have, you know, stuff like that. Digitizing stuff that's not meant to be digitized, like we can take pictures with our laptop cameras, we can put all the basic documents we need into this. So what's the second type of uh, portfolio? It's an educational one where if I was to take, like, uh, my LA teacher wanted me to turn in a paper, I would take the paper I've already typed, get the web address, copy it, put it into this spreadsheet that she has, copy the web address, and then I'd leave it and it would automatically turn into a link and she would get it automatically and it would be right in her portfolio. And what's the final kind of uh, portfolio? Um, our presentation or showcase, so to speak, is a like a website of all our best work. Like you can have six through nine, which I have right now. And it's basically just all the best work I've done in every single like LA, science, math, history, French, all that. Uh, and what would you use that for? Who would be likely to see that? Um, a, a job interview definitely. Colleges looking to see if like this kid actually does quality work. You know, there's a bunch of stuff on there. So, um, how much work is it to go between from, from the beginning kind of catch-all portfolio all the way through to the other ones? It seems kind of seamless because from the catch-all, you know, it's just copying a web address. I've typed all the paper. I just need to get it to her in the web address, which is already in my catch-all. On um, the educational thing, just type in a web address and making sure it's a link. And then the presentation is just, again, it's connected to Google Docs, so I can just click on the page, click Add Presentation, and bam, it's on there on my page. Thank you very much. Problem.